In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome silhouette effect, and that is right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, we're talking all about this really awesome silhouette effect, and this is inspired from those old school iPod commercials. You see the person dancing against the color background. They're a black silhouette against the color background. That is the effect we're talking about in today's video. Now, before we jump into After Effects, you first need to capture some footage, and it's really important that you shoot this against a plain background. Now, in my example, I'm dancing in front of a white background, and that is what we're going to use for this tutorial. So, inside of Adobe After Effects, we want to begin by creating a brand new composition. In the Composition Settings tab, we're just going to rename this to Silhouette, and we're just going to make sure the width is 1920, the height is 1080, and the duration and everything else is fine. So we can press OK and we'll just drag our footage on to the timeline. OK, now once you've got your footage on your timeline, we need to progress to the next section and that is to rotoscope the person from the background. So we'll go up to the Roto Brush tool on the top of After Effects. We'll double click on the video and we're just going to use this green brush to draw inside the person. Now it's really important that there is a pink outline surrounding the person but if for some reason it captures some of the background, just hold Option on your keyboard to load up the red brush and just paint within the area that you want to remove from the mask. And After Effects should get rid of that part of the background. Now, once you're happy with the look of that, you just want to drag this gray bar at the bottom all the way over to the right to make sure that this mask applies for the entire duration of the shot. And as soon as you've poured that over, you just want to press S on your keyboard and by pressing space, your computer is going to read the footage frame by frame and make sure that that mask perfectly follows the subject through the entire duration of the shot. If for some reason though, it doesn't go to plan. As you can see here in my example, the mask has cut out the top part of my arm. So to correct this, all I would need to do is go back in time, find the point where it fell out of the mask. So it was just here. Just paint a little bit of green paint on the part of the mask that should be there press space and let the computer read forward and analyze the footage again. This can be a little bit time consuming, but don't worry, it is well worth it once you've got this right. I'm going to move forward though, so we're gonna go into the Composition Silhouette tab. And inside of this Composition Silhouette tab, you'll notice that there is no background behind the subject. So if I press this transparency window, you can see there is no background. That is perfect. So from here, we're just gonna go ahead and select Layer, New, Solid. Go ahead and select any color that you like. Make sure this isn't black, make sure this is a bright color. So I'm going to go ahead and select Yellow. Press OK on this and drag this underneath the footage. Now go ahead and select the footage that you just cut out. Go into Effects and Presets and search for Levels. Drop Levels onto the footage. We'll go to the input black and we'll pull this all the way up. So we'll pull this all the way up to the point where your subject turns white. Now we'll go into effects and presets, search for tint, drag tint onto that layer. And in tint we have map black to and map white to. You want to go ahead and select map white to and change this to black. And there you go, that is how you do the iPod inspired silhouette effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.